Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. So today's pick a card is going to be all about, am I on the right path? I've been asking this myself lately, just a little bit, sometimes here and there, only because it's just a question that pops into my mind from time to time. Like, am I really on the right path? Am I really doing the right thing? Well, not the right thing, but headed in the right direction with what I'm doing at the time. Or am I just lost in the woods? Or basically, have I wandered off the beaten path? Even if it's just a little, because I kind of don't really want to have that tower moment where it says, get over here, kind of like in Mortal Kombat if you guys actually play games like I do, because I'm a little bit of a gamer myself. Happens to be, Mortal Kombat happens to be one of my favorite, all-time favorite fighting games ever since I was like a kid. So... For you, we have pile one with Oscar. We have pile two with baby Jasper and pile three with the Buddha. And then after we are going to have some rebel deck messages along with messages from your guides for some extra cheeky guidance at the end for us to kind of give us a swift kick in our bums to kind of motivate us and help us along a little bit extra as well. Timestamps for these will be down below as well as any affiliate links will be down below as well in the description box if you'd like to check out these decks and kind of add them to your collections if you like what you see here and also to figure out what their names are. And I will also have timestamps down below in the very first comment from my mobile users. It might take me a minute or two to get to it after it uploads, but I will get there and I will put it there for you guys like I always do. So without further ado, we will go ahead and we will jump in with pile one. If you need any extra time, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video now. And remember that this is a very general reading and that whatever resonates is the message for you and whatever doesn't, let it lie on the floor. And I will see you at your pile. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose pile number one, let's see what we have for you. So these cards up here are like usual with being the overall kind of like situation, the overview of the situation for us. These are going to be some expanded guidance. These down here are going to be some extra messages to help us with getting through and maybe a little bit of extra um, things that we might not have seen generally, at least right away, is what I feel with these cards. So let's see what we have. So we have Rose Petals. So with this, I feel like there's been a lot of love, not just because it's February. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But there's been a lot of love lately around you, and I really feel like you've been kind of like swept off your feet quite a bit due to a new love relationship. And you're wondering, is this really, you know, is this really, you know, happening basically? Because I feel like she's kind of like what just happened and kind of like just really in awe of the whole kind of situation that she's in right now. And then we have compassion. So with this, I feel like seeing the beauty in this situation is what's most needed as well. And that you're actually able to, but also Try not to view things so much through the rose-colored glasses, so to speak, is what I get with this. Because her cheeks are really rosy to me, so I'm really attracted to that. And then we have soulmate. So this is definitely a soulmate type of energy, and I really feel like it's towards a more love energy. And it's been the person of your dreams, whether it's same-sex relationship or heterosexual relationship. Either way, this person is the person of your dreams, and they're your prince or princess. Charming in my opinion. And then we have Sea of Love. This is definitely love related. Like you just, you really can't get more love related than all four of these cards. So this has been quite the whirlwind of a winter relationship. And it's been quite budding is what I get with this. There's been a lot of growth and a lot of expansion and a lot of emotions starting to kind of rise and come about that you really haven't felt before. And you're kind of just somehow questioning yourself is this really the person for me is this right or is this you know too good to be true which I really feel like it's absolutely genuine is what I get with this because there's a lot of blue in these cards so it's definitely the truth it's definitely genuine so let's see what we get for some expansion 
So we have the heart transmission. With this, they're asking you to kind of follow your heart, listen to your heart, go with what it's following you, live in this moment, enjoy it. You deserve this. This is absolutely wonderful for you. You're definitely on the right path. And then we have master healing. This person has helped you to heal quite a lot is what I feel with this, or they will at least help you to heal a lot for those who are not in our um, current love relationship. I feel like this person that you've either just begun talking to or kind of has their eye on you is going to be coming in for you very soon and they're going to help you to heal quite emotionally from all the past. And they're going to help you to open up more as well is what I get with this. And then we have star child. With this, I feel like it's a divinely timed connection and it's going with the flow because you asked for this and the universe is saying, here you go. Here's your love. You deserve this. Go with it and let it overflow is what I get with this. So let's see what the extra guidance is down here. So we have the three fates. What comes around? Everything is connected. Everything happens for a reason. Cutting ties with the old past is what's most needed so that you can help bring this love in even more. And I hear what goes around comes around. So because you've been so faithful and so diligent with trying to love yourself as well as when you were in previous relationships, that love is finally coming back to you full circle. Everything is coming full circle for you. So know that it's okay and that you are worthy of this love and you are very deserving of it and it's definitely coming in for you and that it's okay to cut ties with the past because I'm really attracted to her with the scissors and the cutting the string and what I get for um coming full circle is the wheel over here where the string is coming out of where she's spinning the yarn and know that you two are divinely connected as well with this relationship. And then we have a clockwork pumpkin, a wonderful idea, the aha moment. So this has definitely been the relationship that you are waiting for. And it's going to, once you are fully capable of realizing this, it's going to hit you like an aha moment. And that's when you're going to know it for real. And it's going to be like a light bulb going off in your head is what I get with this. And then we have Lantern Fairy, a clear solution. You are definitely headed in the right direction because what I'm attracted to most is her walking towards the right with the lantern. And you've definitely illuminated your path quite well is what I get. But you're definitely on the right path with this one. And then we have Angel de los Muertos. Transitions, <clears throat> excuse me, transitions to the spirit realm. So with this, Spirit has definitely been guiding you clearly through this. And you've listened to your intuition. you followed your heart. You're still following your heart. And you're beginning to accept all of it. Even if this is a new experience for you. And I really, I'm really attracted to the rainbows in this. So if this is for same-sex couples out there, awesome. That's absolutely beautiful. Or even if you're just, you know, figuring it out for yourself as to this being a new experience for you. Know that it's okay and that it's right and that it's what's most needed for you at this time. And I get, I'm really looking at this flag back here, even though it's supposed to be the Mexico flag. To me, it's kind of like the colors of the Italian flag because I'm Italian, but that's besides the point because when I looked at this, I really got an Italian feel. So if somebody's dating an Italian out there, they're going to treat you right. They're going to put some weight on you because we love food and we have good food. <laughs> I promise you that. So it's definitely going to be a whirlwind romance. And Italians, we generally tend to be very romantic because it's just like basically we love to savor the moments and we are very romantic type of people as well, at least from my family and my experience with Italian people and we give a lot of love and we carry a lot of love with us because everybody for us is family and close to us and we hold them close to us as well and then we have strange companions in stranger places challenges use your imagination so 
for this being same sex couples, yes, there are a lot of challenges. <laughs> I'm really attracted to the eat me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I really am. But it's kind of like telling, you know, basically the rest of the world to piss off or bite me or, you know, basically eat me. It doesn't matter. Be proud of who you are and proud of who you're with. And don't be afraid to show it. Even though there still are some idiots out there that have that closed-minded, narrow-minded type of view, don't let them get to you. Don't let them stifle your love. Don't let them stifle your light. Don't let them stifle who you are. Rejoice in it. Be proud of you and be proud of your relationship and be proud of your partner is what I'm getting with this. Even though you guys may be opposites, I feel that you guys were really divinely attracted to each other because you do share some same qualities and an innocence between you both. And then we have butterflies in gloom. After sadness, happiness, and hope return. This person has definitely brought a lot of light to you and helped you to um, make this transformation almost seamlessly and effortless, effortlessly, even though there's been a little bit of work that has to have had been put in or still has to be put in. I feel like there's been basically a getting up and dusting yourself off type of moment for you with this person and that they've helped you to actually succeed and do this. So you are definitely on the right path. Know that. Walk it, talk it, believe it. And I will see you guys at the end for the Rebel Deck messages and the messages from your guides for some extra cheeky guidance. If you guys choose to skip those ending messages because of the profanity in the Rebel Deck cards, know that I love you and that I will see you guys next video. As well as, please feel free to join me tomorrow for my live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will get it together and have some lovely sip and chat. Alrighty, so I will see you later. Have a blessed one. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose baby Jasper, let's see what we get for you. These cards right here are going to be, as usual, the general overview of the whole entire situation to give me kind of an idea of what you might be going through at this time. And then these over here are going to be an expanded kind of view of these cards and some extra guidance. And down here are going to be some extra guidance and things that you might not have seen really at this time or what might be coming in for you as well is what I get from these cards. So let's see what we have. We have don't compromise. <sighs> so with this, I feel like this is almost relationship based as well, that your partner has been kind of like asking quite a bit of you and you're kind of like, uh, uh, because I'm really attracted to her putting up her finger and going, hold up, wait a minute. You ain't going to ask me to do X, Y, Z without giving a little bit first, because I feel like they've been asking quite a lot of you. And making a little bit kind of like of some demands on your relationship from you. And for their expectations. So let's see what else we have. I am truth. So with this, you've been kind of, I feel like you've been having trouble speaking up for yourself and kind of making what it, what it is that you need to be known, especially feeling wise, how you feel about these with this person asking quite a bit of you, even if it's not a love based relationship, even if someone's been asking quite a bit of you lately, even if it's a friendship, it's kind of like you have kind of regressed a little bit and not been able to speak up and be like, nah, you need to hold up a second. You're not going to ask X, Y, Z of me without, you know, giving me a little compensation. And also not um, allowing them to cross your boundaries. You have to speak up and not let them cross those boundaries is what I get as well. Because I feel like they've been encroaching on your personal space and your personal boundaries as well with the don't compromise card. And then we have emotions. It's caused you to have quite a stir of emotions and kind of question yourself like, what am I doing? Am I in the right place? Am I, you know, doing the right thing here? Am I with the right person? Am I in the right job? Are, you know, are these people really my friends is what I get with this. And it's been causing you to question yourself quite a bit, especially emotionally. It's been wreaking a little bit of havoc too, kind of like almost causing some sleepless nights. It's what I, nights is what I get. 
Sorry, my nose is a little stuffy this morning from sneezing and the cold. And then we have Goddess of Oneness. So with this, I feel like you do have that embodiment and that power within you to bring it out and own that inner goddess of your, of you. So don't be afraid to show it, you know, bring that inner goddess out and be like, listen, this is what we do. And this is how we doing it. I'll compromise just a little bit, but it's not going to be completely. I'll meet you halfway, but that's about it. And if they're not willing to meet you halfway, bye Felicia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just, I couldn't help it. I was on a roll with it. <laughs> But that's the energy that I'm getting with this, with that inner goddess that bring out that sass. Don't be afraid to. It might actually bring bring about a little bit more peaceful communication between you two as well. And kind of give you a little bit more peace of mind as well is what I get with this. So let's see what the expanded um, messages are. We have grounding. Once you're able to bring out that inner goddess and get back to, you know, being down to earth and rooting yourself and kind of having that peace peace of mind it's going to help you to have growth and expansion and kind of help you to come back to being exactly who you are and being honest and truthful with yourself because i'm really attracted to kind of how she's disrobed naked yeah we're gonna say it <laughs> she's naked and so is this lady with paradigm shift <laughs> ah. but anyways it's all about changing a mindset and bringing it out and opening that door to that inner goddess and letting your light shine and stepping into your power and being who you are and kind of expressing it and bringing it out of you. And then we have orbs of light. I didn't even see this card and I'm saying shine your light and all that stuff. So this is confirmation. It's okay to bring out that inner goddess. It's okay to shine your light. Be who you are, shine bright, and don't let anyone make you compromise that in yourself at all, whatsoever. Do not compromise yourself like that. Be honest and be open and be who you are. If they don't like it, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Don't let the hit door hit you where the good Lord split you. You feel me? So let's get some extra guidance for you guys. Storm Angel. Collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, energies. So what was I just saying? Another confirmation. Whether this person likes what you have to say or not, it doesn't matter. It's your personal boundaries, your personal space, and they need to have respect for you. Now, whether you need to have like a little bit of kind of like a clash, maybe, maybe not. There's a right way and a wrong way to do things. You can approach it calmly. Or if this person has literally like worked your last nerve, you need to speak up and let them know. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid. It's all right. Even if you have to start out, you know, taking a deep breath, let it out and let it be known. This is what I'll do. This is what I won't do. This is what I'll tolerate and what I won't tolerate. You don't like it. It is what it is. I'll let you make your choice whether you want to stay or you want to go. But this is your path. This is your right path and being one with yourself and being whole and complete and voicing your opinions and not letting someone else push your boundaries and your buttons to where it's causing you to basically be in your feelings and contemplating, you know, am I worthy? Is this, you know, do, is this something that I deserve? Because no, it's not. You don't deserve to be treated like shit. No one does. That's just my opinion. I believe that you deserve better. That's how I feel about it. Because I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. And you guys have shown me nothing but love and respect. And I love and respect you guys so much in return. And then we have which is the end of the world. An important end. A new beginning. So when you're able to speak up. And say what it is you need to say. The tables will turn because I'm really attracted to the sands of time here. Things will take a turn and things will start looking up and being in your favor. Now, whether this person chooses to stay or sit there and be jealous of you, 
that's on them. Don't let their, you know, don't let their issues and their insecurities affect you. Stay strong in your power and know that you're a force to be reckoned with. And then we have Fairy of the Green World. The natural world needs you. So with this card, I feel like there's definitely been some envy on both sides. But once you're able to speak your truth and to share that, whether they envy you or not, staying true to yourself is what's most important. And hold that within yourself. Now, if they're encroaching on your boundaries and they've been kind of making you feel a certain type of way and kind of been getting like just in your face and you're kind of like, well, how come you get to say X, Y, Z and I don't that type of envy and jealousy know that you're, you know, you're quite capable. I'm going to say that right now you are quite capable. So what's holding you back? They're asking you to be honest and open and to also love yourself as well, because I'm really attracted to all the green as well. And to not worry about how envious that person might be of you and what you have. Let it go. The world is yours. Just as much as it is theirs. But your world is what's most important to you. And what happens in your world is what you allow. And what you won't allow. Is what I get with that. And then we have Faceless Ghosts. And the Haunted Girl. Ghost People. So, I also get the feeling with this that there's been some things that you might feel like that might come back to haunt you in the end after all of this. You don't have to let it. You can sit there and ignore them and let them go and let them just be themselves and gossip to themselves and just stand strong in yourself and be as passionate as you can be about yourself and moving forward and onward to better things. So don't let your past haunt you. Or excuse me, do not let your past haunt you. Ugh, so difficult to talk with, talk with a stuffy nose. Oh my gosh. But anyways, don't let your past come back. And don't let it interfere, interfere in your future as well. Alrighty. So let's see what else we got. We have Snake Princess, the Serpentine Path to Power. So whatever negativity that they've been spewing or gossip that they've been trying to talk and whisper in your ear, don't listen to it. Know that you know better. And that you you make your destiny. You are the one who are walking is walking your path. You are the one who chooses what direction you go and how things go and what you will or won't allow, like I said before. And then we have Miss Spiderweb. Reconsider your alliances. Make new connections. So with this relationship or this friendship, it know that it's okay to walk away. And that this person is probably an energy vampire is what I get with this. And it's okay to sever your connections with them. Because I'm really attracted to the Spiderweb in this. And she kind of gives me a little bit of a vampire type of feel. But this person, if they're an energy vampire, cut it off and let them go. And then if they come back, just kind of try and better yourself. Be a little bit more stronger. Stand more firmer in your boundaries and let things be known. Do what you got to do to stay safe for you. Alrighty, these are your messages and I will see you at the end for the Rebel Deck messages for the Cheeky Kick Your Butt Guidance. And if you guys choose to skip those because you don't like the profanity in them, it's okay. Know that I love you and I will see you guys tomorrow at 5 o'clock for my live stream. Have a blessed one. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose pile number 3, the Buddha statue, let's see what we have for you. As usual, these cards right here are going to be a general overview of the situation. These are going to be some expanded guidance on them. And then these down here are going to be some extra guidance or some things that you might just really need to hear right now or need to know or might not have seen coming. So we have spontaneous and intuitive creation. Wow. 
with this, I feel like stepping into your creative power and being honest and open about things and with yourself and being completely transparent is what's going to be most needed. So if that is what you've been doing, you're definitely on the right path with that and continue to do that and continue to stand in your power with that. And then we have, I am balance. I feel like you've basically been achieving a perfect harmonious balance between work and home life lately with this, especially with being honest and open with yourself. I feel like that that is definitely your right path for you and that you've finally kind of stepped into it, even though it feels a little bit kind of like a little bit out of your norm and a little bit uncomfortable. I feel like the longer and the more you do this, you will be more comfortable with it. It will become the new normal for you. And then we have questioning your beliefs. I get the feeling like you've been questioning a lot about yourself lately, especially with all this new stuff happening for you and kind of like seeing the truth in the matter and of things and kind of seeing through other people if they've been lying to you lately and just pretty much owning your shit and just being like, nope, nope, you're gone. And just basically weeding out those that no longer serve you and standing in your power and standing in your truth and knowing what you deserve and will or will not tolerate. And then we have nature. I feel like you've basically gotten yourself back to being in your element and you're working more towards it as well with making it your new element and being like your new, you know, your new normal, like I had said before. So definitely know that, you know, being like this lately and standing in your truth and your power and being honest and open and transparent about things and doing away with no, what no longer serves you and kind of releasing and letting go of people or past habits, that is your new habitat. That is your new way of being and you are becoming comfortable with it. Slowly but surely you are working your way back to that new normal for you. Even though things may seem a little crowded or a little bit like cluttered lately, you'll get through it. There's a light at the end of that forest and that path for you. So let's see what else we have. We have reassurance of the golden light. Don't stifle yourself. Continue going. Spirit is guiding you in the right direction with this is what I, what I feel and hear. And I feel like you've definitely been listening and paying attention to all the messages that you've been getting and you've been following your life path. And then we have divine talents. So this goes back with the spontaneous intuitive creation. So with this, I feel like you've been doing a lot of creating as well, especially with um, passion projects is what I get with this for some of you. And I feel like you've been expressing your talents quite a bit more, especially if it's been in um, art and drawing. I don't really get too much music. For some of you, it may be with your music. Like um, for some of you, I really feel like it's with a guitar. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's what I've gotten. And all I heard was guitar. Okay, I'm going to roll with that. But I feel like it's been bringing out some hidden passions within you and you've been absolutely kind of like reveling in it. So that's great. So keep practicing and keep, you know, doing what you're doing and, and expanding your talents. And then we have initiation by water. So this has been bringing out the most in your emotions and you've been letting it flow out. And you've also been receiving divine guidance from it as well. The more you flow with this, the more divine guidance you will pull in because it's kind of almost like a meditative state. And I really feel like it's one of your heart's passions. So listen to your heart, follow your heart and go with that flow. Alrighty. So let's see what else we get down here for the extra guidance. I am Kali from death comes rebirth. Doing away with the old paradigms and releasing what no longer serves you as to what I said before. That's exactly what's going on and what needs to continue to happen is releasing anything that no longer serves you, especially if it's people that are just kind of like 
negative or have been lying to you consistently and you've finally been able to see the truth. Kali is here and she's supporting you and helping you with this time. Alrighty. With this deck, I actually, this deck is the um, Shadows and Light deck by Lucy uh, Cavendish and it's one of my favorites. And when I asked what card most represented myself, I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of a tangent here, tangent here, but this is my favorite card in the deck and it's actually the very first card that ever popped out of this deck when I started using it years ago, like seven years ago when I bought this deck. It's absolutely amazing. The cards are beautiful. But Kali, I've worked with her for a long time and got rid of a lot of things that no longer serve me for my greatest and highest good. And she's really helped me quite a lot with becoming more of my true self and living more in my passion and more in my truth. So even though she may be the goddess of destruction, kind of like a tower moment, know that it's for your greatest and highest good and that she supports you with it. And then we have Pink Lotus Fairy, A Time for Spirit. Going within, listening to your meditations, getting in alignment. They're asking you to meditate just a little bit more to keep pulling in that divine guidance so that you can kind of open yourself up more, especially with your third eye and your intuition. And then we have Strange Valentine, Love is Strange. So no matter how strange everything seems lately, I kind of get the feeling that you are loving every minute of it or you will be. And I feel like there's going to be a divine soulmate coming in for you soon, whether it be with love or a friend. I kind of feel it's more of a love relationship is what I get with this because I'm really attracted to the heart and this person giving the girl a heart. And it's kind of going to be an opposites attract type of moment, but it's kind of going to be like, wow, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Whether you're a male or female, a same sex relationship, this person is your person and you're going to be knocked head over heels in love with them. And it's kind of going to be like almost a love at first sight is what I get with this. Even if it's completely out of your norm. And then we have mend a broken heart fairy healing from heartache. So with this, I feel like this person is going to help you to heal from any heartache from the past, but don't use it as a bandaid effect because I'm really attracted to the band-aids on this. Actually get to know them with this new person that's coming in that may not be your normal person. And I also feel like it could be also vice versa with you helping them Whatever they have going on with them, don't band-aid affect it for them because it's not going to help them very much. It's only going to, he you know, heal the ouch for a little bit and then that band-aid is going to peel right off. Hopefully there'll be a scar underneath it, but still, don't band-aid affect anything because it's only a temporary solution. By actually trying to get to the core of things and mending the heart or whatever the situation is, is going to be what's most needed and called for to help dry these tears and help get past all the pain and hurt. Whether it's from your past or theirs. Or, you know, it could actually be both ways, honestly, for some of you out there. You're there to heal each other. And that's why this person is coming in for you is what I'm getting with that. And then we have the Golden Phoenix. Something you thought finished burst back into life. So right away is what I got with this is a pesky ex. If they even think about remotely coming back, listen to what they have to say, but release them with love and be like, I'm sorry, I've moved on. If that is how you feel, but if you want your ex back, listen to what they have to say and make sure that they listen to what you have to say. And if you want to reignite the flames between you two, and if that's what you feel most drawn to, by all means, go ahead but follow your intuition and listen to your heart and where it guides you with that. Elizabeth and the lion. It's time to become a great leader. Speak your truth and what's mostly in your heart and be very um, 
kind of loving and compassionate with both yourself and others around you, but stand in your power nonetheless. Be that inner queen, be that inner king, be the light that you need to be for yourself. And then that light will in turn be the light for others to follow you. And it will draw them more to you and they will have a lot more respect for you and a lot more love and admiration as well as what I get for you. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated and that you enjoyed this reading. And I will see you in just a moment for the Rebel Deck messages if you choose to stick around. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow at 5 o'clock for my live sip and chat. And have a blessed one. Alrighty, so let's get into these ending messages. Let's see what we get from the messages from your guides. Ending guidance. Whoop. Can we give them? And then let's see what we get from the rebel deck. Yes, my husband loves you guys, and we love you, too. <laughs> no, I'm not live. I'm recording. Sorry for the side conversation. He just kind of wanted to get in the video for like two seconds. He gives you a kiss. <laughs> he is such a kook. Yes, we are a goofy couple. So let's see what we get for the Rebel Deck messages. I would rather be transparent here on my channel more than anything with you guys. So this is my way of kind of keeping everything 100, it's including when my bird likes to squawk and go off. Sorry about that. It's like I can't find a quiet place to record some days, no matter how hard I try. shuffle one last time for the third deck because it's not giving me anything it's just like no what does the okay fine we'll give them two and then we'll give everybody else one more so that it's even and I'm this will be for everybody. Screw this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just having a day of it. Some good shit is about to happen. I feel like everybody needs that. And it says, don't let your issues fuck it up. So roll with the punches. Know that it's for the greatest and highest good. And know that something good right behind it will be coming along. So for the first pile, let's see what we get. We have that project, that person, that idea is waiting. And then get after that shit. The world has your back for the first card. And then we have don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. So let's see what the guide's message is. This is be yourself. So with this, taking that alone time and kind of going within and thinking about a lot of different things especially with whatever this product is or the relationship kind of go it in go within excuse me and see what your heart says is what i get with this take a little bit of um time yourself and do a little bit of a meditation if you have to or just take some time to take a minute to yourself think about things and prioritize and look into your heart and see exactly what it is and where um you feel and how you feel about it is what I get. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. For number two. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. 
now I want tacos. Lovely. <laughs> Plus, I'm hungry. <laughs> ah, this says, you are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Don't be popping no shit. Because people who pop the most shit are the people who ain't got their shit together. Understand your body. Yes, that quote was from Cardi B with the money song. So listen to what your body is telling you. Follow what it is with your intuition. And if you have to indulge yourself in some junk food, it doesn't matter. It's not going to kill you. Live a little. Don't deprive yourself because the more you deprive yourself, the more you're going to crave it. And then the more you're going to crash and cave in eventually. Not always, but eventually sometimes it does happen. I know for myself, I get a little weak. Just going to put that out there. So for pile number three, <clears throat> we have stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. So with this, I hear stop worrying about everything and every little thing as well. And then it says, get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. Did I read the back of the obsessed card? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay, so get the fuck outside and move your ass and your body is pissed at you. So with this, I feel like you haven't been listening as much as you thought you were with being, you know, intuition wise anyway. And I feel like you've been very conflicted. So the more you micromanage something, the more it's going to make you obsess over that and the more you're going to miss, you know, the bigger picture. So they're basically telling, telling you to relax and kind of take a rest from it. Stop overthinking. And then we have learn from your mistakes. So think about what it is that you um, may have gone wrong with, what, whatever it is that you're kind of obsessing over or where you think it might go wrong. Think about it for two seconds. If it takes too much, stop, come back to it. It'll still be there. I promise. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated and I will see you guys tomorrow for five o'clock for the live stream and also for the next pick a card. So know that I love you and have a blessed one.